All right. So my scare for this week is going to be Devin Singletary. You know, earlier in the year, I was actually surprised to see Devin Singletary top the league in routes run. Um, but once it was clear that Buffalo was, you know, wavering their confidence in rookie James Cook, uh, Singletary became a pretty viable weekly option due to his routes. I know a lot of a lot of uh, you know people were starting to really like Devin Singletary. You know, wide on the channel was a big fan of Devin Singletary. But the problem I have with Motor is that he only has four rushes inside the ten yard line all season. Uh, a 54% decline in targets over his last three games versus the three prior, an inconsistent snap count despite similar game scripts, and Buffalo has now brought in Naeem Hines, who's a back who specializes in everything that Singletary does not do well, namely running routes and catching footballs. You know, 58% of Singletary's points this season have come from his receiving work that he's likely going to lose to Naeem Hines. So this outlook doesn't put Singletary above backs like Isaiah Pacheco, in my eyes, moving forward, somebody who could, you know, he's an effective runner, an efficient runner. He's going to run well, but he's not somebody that I'm going to count on any consistency week to week or have any confidence putting in my lineups. Uh, I expect the Bills to win pretty handedly versus the Jets, but without receiving work or a TD, it's hard for me to squeeze Devin Singletary as a top 24 option. And he's RB 18 in consensus on the week. Uh, I prefer backs like AJ Dillon, Raheem Moster, Deonta Foreman, Antonio Gibson, Tower Algier, Jamal Williams, and Khalil Herbert. I prefer all of those names over uh, Devin Singletary for this week. We're on the same page. I, I debated using Singletary in, as my scare. Um, I, for all the reasons you, you said, as well as even if you look at last week, he was very productive early. Bills got up, decided that if they wanted to uh, protect him as much as possible because he was running really well. And the faucet kind of shut off, which actually kind of changed what his average was for the rest of the game in terms of yards per carry after uh, the first couple drives because it seemed like the Bills kind of just condensed their offense a little bit. But I'm with you. I think uh, I think Himes Hines can come in pretty quickly. There's not going to be too much of an adjustment because of the fact that his role really doesn't change, and he's good at his role. So I, I think he's done the work, and there won't be an issue bringing him in and having him play a decent amount. Yeah, I think Singletary is much more important for them in real football and what they want to do. And they have games, namely against the Chiefs, where they want to just establish a little bit of the run, hard runs, good runs. Singletary is that first, second down grind who can come in and give you, you know, a good four, five, six yards per carry, um, you know, which can help mix up the pace of the game. But I can't see that being fantasy relevant. And, you know, there is a disconnect between real football and fantasy. That's how I feel about Naeem Hines as well, where, it's going to be hard for me to trust him for fantasy, you know, even coming into Buffalo. He is a little lightning bolt in the red zone, which is something they can use. He, he He's a good third down back, which is something they can use. But it's just hard for me to be able to predict the consistency with either one of these backs or James Cook or whoever is involved there, especially knowing, you know, the real lead back is Josh Allen. And that's how teams come and address and respect their backfield is they're, they're looking and containing Allen first before, you know, which can help these guys in their efficiency, but with limited touches, I'm just staying away from all of them. hundred percent. I think Heinz actually might have the better upside between the two. If you're looking for fantasy score wise, but neither one of them are going to be predictable and neither one of them are going to be someone that you can, you can count on either the volume or the yardage every week. For me, Naeem Hines is nothing more than a prayer play. You're going to have bye weeks, maybe an injury, and you're like, crap, who can I slide in at running back? Your options have to be pretty bleak for me to put a lot of faith in Naeem Hines. So 